Hello everybody, this is Ali Reza. Welcome to another Kianda the Smart Home Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to make a smart switches using ESP32 development board running ESP Home integrated with Home Assistant. Making a smart switches with today's method, it is possible to use touch switches and mechanical switches. Both of them are covered. Using ESP32 development board, it is possible to connect or let's say it's possible to use up to 10 pins to detect touches. The same pins can be used to connect mechanical switches. The pins are GPIO0, GPIO2, 4, 12, 13, 14, 15. Also GPIO27, 32 and 33. What is needed? An operating Home Assistant system, ESP32 development board integrated with Home Assistant. The integration tutorial is here. A mechanical switch, a touch switch, and a diode. Let's start. Assuming your ESP32 development board is integrated with Home Assistant, let's start. If not, watch the related video in description. In Home Assistant, I click on Supervisor on the left panel, select ESP Home, click on Open Web UI. In this page, you can find your YAM files related to your development boards. My ESP32 is connected and Home Assistant shows it's online. I click on Edit. At the bottom of the page, or let's say the YAM file, you should enter the new codes. I paste the codes. First, let's try adding one touch switch to the board. These codes are related to defining a touch switch. The touch switch is binary sensor, the platform is ESP32 touch. Pay attention to this line. In our example, I use GPIO4. I set threshold to 600. After programming your board, if your touch switch does not work, you must change this number and try other numbers. Setting or defining ID is optional. This code, this prevents Home Assistant shows binary sensor. I do not want binary sensor to be displayed in Home Assistant UI. Let's uh, skip these lines for a while. The next step is creating switch. The platform is GPIO. I used GPIO 27 as an output. I set a name for it, light one. ID light underline one. This is required. Okay, after defining the switch, we need an automation to integrate binary sensor with this switch. The automation is written here. By pressing the touch switch, the switch which is light 1 is toggled. Let's add a mechanical switch to the board. Before installing this edited YAML file to development board, let's add mechanical switch. In binary sensor section, I enter another binary sensor to connect a mechanical switch. The platform is the same. I use another GPIO from the list, the top pins list. Set threshold to 600. These are the same. Again, I do not want this binary sensor being displayed in Home Assistant UI, I set internal to true. We have skipped this part for a while. Let's add 
the related output for the mechanical switch. I paste the code. Pay attention that if you enter the lines in a wrong way, the install button will be disabled. So I fix the arrow. Here we have another problem. Install button is enabled. The second output, the platform is GPIO. I use pin number 26. I set a name for it, light2. Defining an ID is necessary for this switch. I set the ID to light2. This is the automation related to integrating mechanical switch to the second output. On press, which means turning on the switch, light 2 is turned on. On release, which means turning off the switch, light 2 is set to off. OK, I click on save. After editing the YAMP file, select install. Select wirelessly, wait till installation completes. installation is completed I click on stop I navigate to configuration in home assistant by clicking on configuration on the left panel select integrations in configuration page find my ESP32 development board click it I click on three dots of the ESP32 delete it okay now I click on Add Integration, search for ESP Home, select it, enter the IP of my ESP32 development board, then click Submit. Home Assistant found my development board, click Finish. OK, I select my development board. It has one device, I click on it select it here we have two lights light one and light two before testing the board let's talk about the wiring my touch switch here has three pins one is ground the other is input voltage and the middle one is related to output of the switch the mechanical key has two inputs i connected 3.3 volt to the vcc of the touch switch and connected the ground to the ground of the touch switch then i connected gpio4 to the output of the switch using a diode in programming, I use GPIO15 to connect mechanical switch. I connect the GPIO15 to the switch and the other port of the switch to ground. Tutorial of how to connect loads to ESP board is at the top right corner of the screen. You can also find its link in description. I skipped that part. Let's test the device. I turn on the switch, you see that light 2 is set to on. By turning off the switch, light 2 is off. Let's test the touch switch. Light 1 is on, light 1 is off. I turn on light 2 using the mechanical key, set it to off using home assistant. In order to turn it on, you see that by turning off the switch and turning it on again, the light 2 is set to on. So using this method, you can control outputs of development board using touch switches or mechanical switches with Home Assistant UI simultaneously. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. 
I'll see you in the next video.